Welcome back to the channel, my name is Abon, we are back with Football Manager 2019 and Eastern Resurgence with Berlin at FC Dynamo and today we conclude Season 6. Last time we secured promotion to the Bundesliga, to the top flight of German football. Haven't quite secured the target yet though, we've got two matches left which we're going to play both today. Uh, start off with uh, Braunschweig and then we take on Paderborn and uh, all we need I think is a win and uh, we will secure the title as long as we win one of our two matches that will be enough i played one match off screen which unfortunately we lost we'll have a quick look at that and then we'll jump straight in so last time we met it was a 1-0 win over Kaiserslautern. and pressed off getting the one and only go and our third straight 1-0 win against the bottom three clubs in the division very um un underwhelming wins i'll say that much i thought we'd get a few more goals than that but um, a win nonetheless and that guaranteed our promotion to the bundesliga uh, the one match that we played off screen uh, was a home defeat to FC Nuremberg. Uh, we lost 2 1. It just didn't fall right for us here. We created like the odd chance, but it just didn't fall for us here. We took a, a lead, Joel Reculi scoring his first goal of the season, 13 minutes in, giving us a uh, an early goal from his headpiece. Nuremberg equalised uh, fairly promptly, though. Torla's Noll scoring on 16 minutes to make it 1 1. And then uh, taking them into the lead uh, in the second half, about halfway through, and um, made it 2-1. We couldn't find another goal other than that early one. Um, Brasnitz had a, a rare poor game. Defending wasn't quite on point. Kircher didn't really get involved as a wing back. I would hope he'd be a bit more involved in the play, but that didn't happen. Maximilian Bauer got a, a late red card. Uh, it's 92nd minute, but um, too late for us to really take advantage of it. It was one of the last moments of the match. So... Um, a little bit of an unbeaten run that came to an end. Uh, only off 50 feet of the season. And four of those did come in consecutively matches. Because we lost the last match for our winter break. And then came back and then lost our next three. Losing to Union Berlin, Dynamo Dresden. And then um, one other team as well. Who I think was Augsburg. I'm not quite sure. But um, only our fifth loss of the season. It's been a fantastic season. Uh, haven't quite secured the title yet. So let's have a look at the table. We have two games left with two points ahead of 1860 Munich. Uh, of course, we lost to Nuremberg. Uh, 1860 won their match. So the gap is at two points. They beat Kaiser Southern 3 1. So, uh, yeah, that's where we sit at the moment. We have secured promotion. Ingolstadt are a 10 behind us. So uh, we can't be caught. We've guaranteed promotion. We need to try and make sure we win the title now. 1860s are running. Is, uh, they've got Nuremberg and they've got Braunschweig. Nuremberg beat us, of course. So that might be a tough match for them. And then we both have to play Braunschweig. So uh, interesting development there. Let's jump into match one of two then as we take on Braunschweig. And Team News Recule has got a bit of an injury, but he's trying to play through this match. Um, it was a... Uh what type of injury was it? It was a twisted ankle. So he's going to be out for a few weeks. But we're getting him through this match. Because hopefully all we'll need is this one last win. And so we're going to leave him in for today. I'm going to take off Franker. Going to remove him. And uh, can the milk play as a ball winner? No, we can't. Um, who else can we bring in there then? Probably McConnon or um, Albert. We're going to go McConnon, I think. Goals are kind of dried up, as, as, as you've seen. Lots of 1-0 wins. So, um, and goals from defenders as well. The strikers kind of lack it at the moment. Fuchs is on another sort of uh, run without scoring. Brasnitz has kind of dried up. We're going to try and get him to 24. That's his record. He's on 21 at the moment. It's doable, but uh, we need a good performance from him. Kickoff is underway. We need to make sure we win. We don't want to fall behind. We've led pretty much the entire season. So, I really don't want to fall behind 1860. And uh, they are top of the list there against Nuremberg. We'll see what happens with them. We just need to better their result. Um, if they lose and we draw, that might be enough. I think goal difference will come into it and ours is a bit better. So, um, yeah, as long as we better their result, that's okay. But they've got an early goal uh, through second and 14 minutes. So, uh, we're on the back foot already. And uh, it's uh, possession for a Braunschweig at the moment. But they're stuck in their own half. McConnell with a header forward and Heyer. Now Dominic pressed offer for us. McConnell already on a yellow at 20 minutes. That's a concern. We do get a lot of yellow cards. We've got a very physical style of play, I think. Paradisi. Lots of assists this season. And that could be another one. But Colette's header is over. Again, we're having lots of long range shots. Skarka with a free kick here for Braunschweig. And that hits the woodwork. Going to go in a half time goalless. Um, a poor half. We've had the possession, but we haven't threatened really we've had shots but they've all been from like quite a way out we're trying to win the title here and we're not really in the good form to do it and i've just lied to them and said i'm pleased i'm really not that's not gone well 
All right, we've got the high tempo, that's fine. We've got a bit of overlap. Uh, we're gonna try and work it in there. And let's see some improvements because the form hasn't been great recently. I mean, we did win a few matches, but they're all 1 0. We need a big win here. It's happened quite a lot that we are really sort of dragging ourselves over this finish line. It happens a lot at the end of my seasons that we just don't seem to want to play well anymore. And uh, coming up to the hour, there's been very little action in this game. And we're going to make a couple of changes, or at least one change. McCollin's not done well again. Um, can Ablinger play as a ball winner? No, not really. We'll go back to Franca though. Frank is not bad. Again, the strikers just haven't been involved. We're going to bring on Ablinger for Preston. We're going to change up the midfield completely. Make Kohler a bit more attacking. And a free kick here for Braunschweig. Janza goes for goal. Hits the bar. And um, one day was offside. So that will not count. Janza took it away from the player. Had a shot at goal. And there were, I, I think, three players offside there. So that was fine. But at least his earlier shot um, did actually hit the bar. Janza making a run in midfield and Ablinger just snatches the ball off him. Here's Max Fuchs. He's got Paradisi in support. It finds him. Now can he put a good cross in there? It finds Ablinger. Paradisi's got it back and now he's got space to cross. Can he put it in there? He can. Brasnitz with a header. Brasnitz with a goal. 22 for the season. And we get a 1-0 lead with 20 minutes left. Let's try and hold on to it. We've gone a bit more positive. A bit more like controlling the game and it's paid off. We've got ourselves that... A much needed goal. And Paradisi, once again, the provider. He must be in double figures for assists this season. He's got to be. He's had a tremendous year. And Brasnitz has as well. 22 for the season. Can he get at least to his record? Can he tie his record at 24? We'll certainly give him a chance to. And with um, one match left, it's entirely possible. He could get a hat-trick in the last match. But uh, five minutes left in this one. I'm going to take off Max Fuchs. We're going to bring on uh, Jean-Claude Cabea for the last few minutes. Don't think we're going to be keeping him again next season. I think his, his loan spell is going to be up. He's going to go back to Fortuna Dusseldorf. And I think we'll try and buy someone better. Because he's not been bad. But he's not been good either. And um, this match has again been pretty dull. And it's going to be another 1-0 win. And uh, that is finished now. 1-0 for the fifth match in six games I think. And apparently that secured the title. Because I wasn't even paying attention to the 1860 Minix game. Apparently, they drop points. So, that means that we're the champions, apparently. Um, we'll have a look at how they did. Apparently, we got the title. Oh, my God, 1860. You drew 3-3. You were 1-0 up. You were 2-1 up. And then Fledge is in the 84th minute. And the 93rd minute equaliser by Zeiss has secured the title for us. What a turnaround for Nuremberg, that is. I don't feel so bad for losing to you now. They're a good team. And they're, they're fairly high up. They're in sixth. So we have actually won the title, meaning for our last game, we've got nothing to play for. We can experiment a bit. We can play a few kids. Well, not kids, because if you're under 17, you can't play in Germany. But we can definitely play some younger players, some fringe players. Um, so that's going to be fun. We can actually enjoy a match. Uh, so we'll have Riculi unavailable for the last match. That's fine. We, we can rotate a lot. And uh, we've secured the title. Fantastic news. It goes down to those late equalisers. It was a good four or five games where we got late goals that either got us wins or saved us points. I mean, that long and meeting run we had at the first half of the season, a lot of those draws were because of injury time goals, 89-minute goals. So if we hadn't scored those, we may not even be promoted, let alone champions. Okay, so this is the team we are going to go. So Mark Curie is going to stay in goal because um, I don't know what's going to happen next season. We're going to keep Hendel as long as his wager marks aren't too ridiculous. And Mark Curie could stay first choice next season, but he's going to play this last match. Uh, Zakiri is going to be playing at left back, his first appearance for the senior team. Of course, we signed him in the January window, the Albanian left back. Uh, we've got him from Mannheim. So he's going to play at left back. And he's joined uh, in the defence by Ostman. Uh, Igor Greco is going to play. A guy that I've never really given a fair chance in the first team. Um, he's played like, a handful of games. Maybe like two or three. Um, if, for the first team he's played twice. So uh, I've never really given him a fair chance. His potential has kind of gone. So um, that's all my fault. I've never used him. But he's going to play today. Dining is going to play at right back. Uh, Mittelstan, Ablinger in central midfield. Selkos and Hollerback on the wings. I want to go for Hollerback. And uh, Brasnitz is going to play alongside Shibados up front. And the bench is full of first team players. We could put Tilo on the bench actually. Again, it's a player that I've not really given a fair chance to. Uh, but I think that's going to do. I think, I think that'll, that's more than enough changes. And um, that's all the youngsters we can really play. But yeah, we're just going to enjoy this match because we've got nothing to play for. We're champions, we're promoted. It's just about just seeing what these guys are made of now, I guess. Um, 
let's have a look. All the best out there today. Have fun. That's all I'm going to say. Just enjoy the match. And uh, off we go. Padawan kick off. And let's see what happens with this match. We'll we'll go for a win. And we'll see what happens. We've got some some different players out there, though. We'll wait and see what happens here. We're on attacking as well. We're going top heavy. We've got 4-2-4 on attacking as well. So we'll see what happens. So far, nothing has happened. Half an hour. And we haven't had a highlight yet. So <laughs> that's not what I wanted from this. I want to, I want to enjoy this match. And here we go. 35 minutes and we have a highlight. Zakiri with a throw in. Selkos heads it back to him. And here's Adrian Mittelstadt to Ablinger. And Zakiri's got it again. Selkos. Zakiri could put a ball in there. Does so. Was that a shot or a cross? I'm not sure what that was. <laughs> Filippo Selkos. And uh, Shabados. Oh my god. Karoli Shabados has scored. And it's 1-0, 36 minutes in. His second goal of the season, because I think he scored for the... Um, I think that takes into account the second team matches, because they play in that team just to get match fitness up. If you're not playing in the first team, you're playing in the second team just to get match fitness. But Shibata scores his uh, first senior goal there. And I didn't think it would be him scoring the goals, honestly. I want Brasnitz to get him, but I'm pleased for Selkos there. And a couple of minutes left in the first half. Hopefully we can hold on to this lead. And uh, win our last match. And with a team like this, that's good. Because it shows that we do have some good strength in um, in our younger teams. Akiri wins a tackle well there. But the danger not quite cleared. Romana goes for goal. <laughs> and it's an equaliser two minutes from half time. Hugo Romana scores. And it is 1-1. Magalias cuts inside. A great sliding tackle by Zakiri, But it just fell to the wrong player. And then Romana with the right foot. A good strike, actually. That was a good finish. And half time. It's 1-1. But I'm pleased. We're, we're doing all right. Uh, I'm going to say we can still win this. Let's try and take it a bit easier, though. We're going to go back to uh, positive, I think. Uh, we'll go straight into the second half, though. Not going to change anything unless I need to. And let's see if we can get back in front here. So that lead only lasted a few minutes. And I want to go for Hollerback. I still want that. Brasnitz with a free kick. Oh, keeper forcing to a save. Selkos with the ball in. It's at the far post. Headed away by Marcos. Brasnitz goes for goal. Mittelstadt does. And it's Dwarves. Bounced around a little bit there, but we couldn't get it in again. Mittelstadt's not done too well today. Uh, we'll put uh, we'll put Franker on. I want Hollerback to score. I'm, I'm going to put him on attack. I want Hollerback to score. It doesn't look like we're going to get much more in here. There's about 20 minutes left. It's not been a great performance again. I know we're playing young players, but it's been another dull game. I mean, let's go all out. We're going to go very attacking. Um, Brasnitz doesn't look like he's going to get his record. So Teal is going to come on as well. We're just going to play like different players. Last 10 minutes of the match. A throw in here. Dininger takes it. And it's Karoli Shabalos. Uh, wins the header well there. And can he put a ball in there for someone? Teal! Oh, Maximilian Teal has scored now. The two young strikers scoring the goals. Nothing for Brasnitz. I mean, he's still got a fantastic tally once again. 22 goals. But the two young strikers getting the goals on the day. In the last 10 minutes, we are back in front, 2-1. And Crowley Shabado's great header there to get it away from um, the player there. And a lovely cross, low cross. And Tealy with the finish. 84 minutes, a throw in deep in our half. Abling wins the header. And here's Hollerback. Goes long. And uh, Achilles with uh, the header. And uh, Abling a bit too much on that one. Moretto to Romana. Uh, let's just go back to balance. We'll try and hold on to this and try and win our last match. And then uh, Magalias... And Clemon, and that's a good save by Marcuri, and that, Christ, and Greco with a clearance in the end, and then Tila, and now the counter-attack is on here, Selkos kicks it out of play, why not, what's my last change going to be, Selkos off, Cola on, oh, it's 2-2, two -two. Zakiri uh, gets a yellow card, and uh, Zehe scores the goal, Rafael Zehe from the set piece, and uh, it's 2-2 it's two -two now. I haven't had a draw in a long time, but Zehe with a free header there. The marking just wasn't very good. That's disappointing. And a couple of minutes left in the game. It looks like it's going to be a 2-2 draw. There's a few seconds left to maybe get a late winner. But, um, I don't think it's going to happen somehow. We were okay. No, we played some different uh, players. There's Zakiri playing well with a 7.0. We'll definitely see more of him in the future. Shabados and Tila with the two goals. Unlikely sources for the goals. Brajnitz ends up with nothing, but still gets 22 goals for the season. That's a great um, out output. There was a lot of rotation, so that result was irrelevant, really. We're still champions. Um, 1860 lost 4-3 to Braunschweig, so they really bottled it at the end and um, ended five points behind us. Ingolstadt get the playoff place, but we are promoted. 
as champions. So we will be in the Bundesliga next season. We'll be the champions. We've got 16 million for that. So you get about an extra million between first and seconds. Four players make it into the um, best squad. Paradisi, Tashirek, Osterman and Mark Hury gets in there as well, which is good to see. So that's great. End of season awards. Mark Brezhnev once again wins the uh, fans play of the season. Paradisi comes second and Kircher comes third. Uh, the goal of the season was Cabea's goal against Darmstadt in November. Sign of the season was Benedict Hollerback. Who? He got, I think, a few assists. Uh, did he score a senior goal? I know he scored in some friendlies, but he didn't score a goal for us. He got two assists. I don't see that as a signing of the season, to be honest. That seems pretty underwhelming. He's been pretty poor. And I never saw a goal from him, so we never even got to play a hollow back goal. That's what I always wanted to do, and we didn't even see a goal from him. So, I'm disappointed, Benedict. Young player of the season, Paradisi. No surprise there, 21 years old. And he did make double figures for assists. He got 10 assists in the end, 3 goals. A very good season for the um, German-Italian winger. And um, he's looking to get better as well. He's going to improve. Um, whether he reaches that four star potential, I don't know, he's 21, so I, he's running out of time to realise that. There going to be some new faces that will help us beat the drop? No, they don't like that. They're, they're, they think we've got no chance. Okay, yeah, they don't think we're going to stay up. <laughs> I've got doubts myself, to be honest. And let's see, have a look at the table then. So Heidenheim and Hoffenheim relegated. Hoffenheim not looking good. Uh, Bayern champions, uh, no surprise to see that, 12 points clear in the end, I think that's their 11th out of 12 title, I don't know, Leipzig gets second, Borussia Dortmund down in ninth place, dearie me Dortmund, what's happened to you? Um, we're gonna, it's going to take a while to get into like the top half of this, there's some there's some good teams in here, even the teams in the bottom half, I mean Eintracht Frankfurt, Europa League semi-finalists in real life, probably a far cry from this team right here, but Stuttgart down here, Hamburg, Köln, there's some big teams here. And we are really going to struggle to stay up. Right. We've defied the odds so far this series. But this is going to be completely different. We are going to have to really fight to stay in the Bundesliga. I don't want to get relegated. I've only ever been relegated once on the main game. And that wasn't even on YouTube. That was a stream save with Brighton um, a couple of years ago. But I think we will uh, leave it there. There's not much else to go through really. We'll have a look at the playoff results when we come back for the new season. And um, yeah, we'll have a look at transfers. I think the next video I do, I don't think will be a match. I think we'll do a, like a transfer sort of roundup because I think there's going to be a lot of movement. But we'll have to wait and see because I tend to find that if I do all the transfers and the friendlies and a match, it's all a bit too much and it makes it too long a video. So I might just do a bit of a transfer roundup next time and then maybe start the season with a double live on the following video. I'll, I'll have a think about it and I'll let you know. You know, you, you'll see what happens, and I'll, I'm sure I'll let you know through social media as well. I'll, I'll tweet about it, I'm sure. Uh, but anyway, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed it, do drop a like down below, leave comments, and if you want to see videos as and when they turn up on YouTube, do hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell to receive updates if I upload or go live, and follow me on social media so you don't miss any of my content. I'll see you next time for uh, the start of season seven and our first season. Our first season in the Bundesliga. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the Bundesliga. Goodbye.